and welcome to my class again. Now, today we are going to discuss about deserts. Now, deserts is a, are very interesting to study because, as you know, um, it's dry and it's hot and it's also mysterious for its uh, treasures that no one even knows are there. Honestly, this is the most interesting thing for me so far that I like and I hope you like it too. Again, I will only take five minutes of your time, so let's get to it. Now, deserts are the driest habitats on Earth. Now, the driest is in, not just dry as in like I'm thirsty, but more than that. It's the temperature, it's the environment, and everything around you is normally hot. With less than 25 centimeters or 10 uh, centimeters of a rainfall a year. Now, they may fall, may be hot, cold, or coastal, depending on their geographic position. But all are dry. Desert animals and plants must be able to survive with little or no water and endure significantly daily ranges in temperature, namely hot temperatures. Now, as you can see here, as I've already told you, that where they are located. Now, mammals normally they are there. I can show you here. It's very interesting to know are like, um, Let's say mirror cats, of course, camels, um, snored, beaked echidna, uh, fox, a red kangaroo, African wild donkey, and Arabian spiny mouse, and so on. I mean, the list goes on. Uh, these animals mostly are from different parts of deserts. Now, let's look at them so you don't have any further questions asked. Now, world. Air, uh, deserts. The biggest deserts are in hot, dry parts of North Africa. Let me magnify for you so you can see better uh, here. Let's just do it. Uh, the biggest deserts are in the hot, dry parts of North Africa, Arabia, and Australia. Other deserts have formed in Asia and the Americas, in places that are far from oceans and cut off by mountain ranges. Now, as you can see here, North America, South America, Europe, but some of them are not affected that much, but mostly, as I just said, Oceania, Asia, and so on. Types of deserts. Now, types of deserts are very important, and it's a bit interesting. I wish you could see it better, but I'll do my best to explain it to you. Now, uh, all deserts share one feature. They are very dry. Now. Since they are very dry, it means that it's very hot. And hot, it's all connected actually, as you know. If you drink water, you're not thirsty anymore, you drink it because you're thirsty. Here's the other way around. If it's hot, it's dry, it's uh, lack, uh, lacking in humidity, and as you said, as you heard earlier, like there are some snakes also here that live, uh, animals are adapted to cold, hot climate. Now, as you can see, all deserts share one feature they have very much in common, which is dry climate. But they form in many ways, and each desert is different. Many are sandy, others are rocky, and a few are snowy. Wow, that's amazing. And next and some are not as dry as others and have a lot of plant life. Now, some, like as you can see, there are thorns that ostriches uh, live on, they eat that. I've seen it on Discovery actually as well. I wish I was in desert in China and it's also interesting and in Dubai and it's it's a pretty miserable place to be in uh, as far as deserts go, but the, but the city is awesome actually. You should go there. But the deserts I would not recommend, but as long as you have a tour guide. Anyway, so um, next one, sand dunes. Now, desert wind can blow dry sand into, into shapes called dunes. When the wind loses strength, it drops the sand suspended in it. So, the sand suspended in it. So, basically, when the sand is suspended, it flies up. Now, these, uh, the shape uh, resulting in dunes, and they are formed, and that's how they are created. So, basically, uh, it depends on wind direction and so on. So, basically, as you can see, everything is connected in deserts. Now, uh, one more thing that I want you to know are the plants that live there. Now, you will see very interesting aspects of some of them, even some snakes, like as reptiles, I mentioned reptiles live there. 
uh, scaly, uh, waterproof bodies of lizards and other reptiles. As you can see here, there's a snake, uh, side winter, uh, desert tortoise. By the way, tortoises, they survive that kind of environment because it's really very easy to get eaten as you are slow, perhaps, as a turtle is, or some other predators, they can eat you. Uh, as you can see, if, if that tortoise is in uh, at risk or something. Now, next one is uh, snakes. Uh, snakes are actually scary, I'm afraid of snakes. Oh my god. You know? uh, so there's a milk snake, rat spitting cobra, uh, there's a diadem snake, and thorny devil. That's another lizard that you can see here. Uh, it's very small, but also important to ecosystem. Next are the plants. Now, plants are more uh, widespread, as you can see here. Most desert plants have very deep and widespreading roots uh, to gather water. Some have both. Uh, cactus and so on. These uh, plants, like this thorn, also uh, uh, covered in thorns, uh, mescal cactus, and so on. These plants are all uh, coming from desert. Now, also, uh, what I would like to tell you about is desert rose. This is the most special one, and I would like to center my glass around that because it's so beautiful. Look at that. Look at it. So basically, it grows in deserts as well. And it, like I said, you might consider deserts dangerous or unhospitable or something inhospitable, but at the same time, it's so beautiful. But of course, you can go there with tour guide. Never go there alone. It's dangerous. So again, I want you to understand that deserts are very uh, interesting to study and coming back to what I said at the beginning the deserts are driest habitats on earth please I hope you enjoyed thank you so much for inviting me to your home goodbye